On a spot news program like this, there's hardly time to do what I'd like to do at this moment. As you may have heard, I'll be off radio for a while, but there's nothing in the rumor that I'm retiring. Nothing. On the contrary, I'll probably be busier and more involved than ever. But tonight, I do want to thank all of my associates. And I want to go way back to the beginning, 46 years ago, and pay a special tribute to Bill Paley and also to General Sarnoff. They were the first to put me on the air with what has been the longest-running broadcast of any sort, not just news. Seems odd that at one time I had all the air of the entire world to myself alone to tell about the day-by-day -day adventures of the human race. Human interest, adventure, colorful stories from around the globe have been my specialty, and the present radio format allows only enough time for headlines. To the members of my staff and to my colleagues with whom I have worked here at CBS and for many years at NBC and the other networks too, ABC before it was ABC, it's impossible to tell them how grateful I am. And the same to all of you who have been listening. I'll be off on a brief vacation, perhaps doing some glacier skiing in the mountains of British Columbia and Alaska. Instead of my usual so long until tomorrow or until Monday, since this is Friday, tonight it will simply be here's to all of you. So long. On a spot news program like this, there's hardly time to do what I'd like to do at this moment. As you may have heard, I'll be off radio for a while, but there's nothing in the rumor that I'm retiring. Nothing. On the contrary, I'll probably be busier and more involved than ever. But tonight, I do want to thank all of my associates. And I want to go way back to the beginning, 46 years ago, and pay a special tribute to Bill Paley and also to General Sarnoff. They were the first to put me on the air with what has been the longest-running broadcast of any sort, not just news. Seems odd that at one time I had all the 